Hey guys, it's your boy here, Good Citizen News. I hope y'all having a great day today. So in today's video, this is a continuation of the postal audit I did in Santa Fe, Texas. Right next to the post office is the fire department in Santa Fe, Texas, Station 1. Now there are three different stations. This is the Station 1 fire department. Guys, this is a great video. It goes to show when you put a cop in the fire department, the fire department fails. It also goes to show you can be having a great interaction with other employees, but it only takes one to mess it up for the entire office, fire department, police department, public building. Guys, it's absolutely insane what happens here. I hope you enjoy the video. I will be cutting out the dead space and stuff like that. So if it jumps around, that's why. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. And if you'd like to donate, feel free using the links in the description below and also in the pinned comment section. Thank you so much, guys. And I hope you have a blessed day. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Hello. How's it going? Okay. Is that you? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I could I, I couldn't tell where it was coming from. I didn't know if it, it sounded like y'all were having a conversation. No, we're just uh, we just we just saw that this is a pretty new fire uh, department here. I mean, it's 2012. It's not new new, but uh, it just looked pretty nice. So we just came in to take a look and see what it was about. Cool. Yeah. Want a tour? Oh yeah, I'd love a tour. Yeah. Me and my compatriot right there. He's taking a little time to get in here. He's a little slow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We're getting a tour, man. Nice to meet you. I'm Austin. Rob. Nice to meet you, Rob. I'm Bruce. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Rob. Do you guys still uh, do some volunteer training here, too, for the volunteer part? Of the yeah, so this is still volunteer. Okay. Um, okay. And then our, we're paid EMS. So I work on the EMS okay. side. Okay. Um, I did some training in the old building. Oh, down the road, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah back, That's cool. Back when they had the, the whole deal set up in the in the bay yeah. and whatnot so i think i can cut the top off of the car there that's cool yeah <laughs> heck yeah so this uh this down here is the uh admin side or the fire side mm -hmm. um and there's some of the other employees or hr that's good. um so this is the deputy chief's office and then the active chief's office here okay okay all the chiefs have their office down here and some of the captains too okay so um, do they also have bunks in their offices? No, they do not. Since office? they are volunteer, you know, they're all up here yeah. when they're called in. Yeah, or sometimes during the day when they care, they work. Oh. <laughs> Running around, that's cool. He's like, man, he's like, watch out. He's like, I got my boots on. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a stick it all over his feet. Um, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is beautiful. I had some really nice. When we were in the area, and I, I thought we should, you know. Yeah, definitely. Uh, back here is the conference area, but this place gets rented out for people. Um, you guys rent it out for people to have like little parties, like baby showers. And okay, so it's like that's a cool. little use room for the public too. Oh yeah, definitely. That's cool. That's great. So do y'all do like do y'all do like more like morning meetings or like weekly meetings in here too? So they do uh, monthly meetings here. Okay. Um, usually every Tuesday they'll start out here and they go out and do training. Oh sweet. Uh, okay. The volunteer side. Uh, we'll do our training down here for EMS as well. Oh, okay. Um, one of my favorite things about this station too that I think they took um, a lot of pride in doing is uh, oh, the good kitchen. Good huh? kitchen, and there's two of these actually. So this is the downstairs really? one. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so in case of like emergencies and floods and stuff like that, you guys can yeah, actually can open actually, up a kitchen. Yeah. Wow. So I actually have a, nice. I have a nonprofit here in Dallas County, okay. and during the uh, freeze, we actually there's a in here. The walk-in freezer. Okay. And we put a lot of our food in here. Because you guys are on the jingy here, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And okay. then, so, whenever the uh, freeze happened uh, back, what, a couple years ago? Yes. Yeah. We yeah. actually took all of our food out of here, took wow. it over there, and cooked it at the police station and handed it out to people. That's awesome. We did a similar thing in Sea Isle. Oh, yeah. I put out a post, and I was like, all your freezers that are sitting there, and we... Yeah. Sat there through the cold, and everybody brought their barbecues and spare propane. And oh, yeah. We were tossing out... We put out between 100 and 200 meals for three days in a row, so that's awesome. really nice. Yeah. I've been working out at around CIO a lot because I work for Galveston too. So this yeah. is the EMS supervisor's office here. Okay. And oh, wow, you got lights that come on just when you open the oh, door. Oh, throughout the whole station. That's awesome. That's nice. The only, thing, the only ones that don't have it are the bedrooms. Okay. Okay. Well, old. I came out and saw 2012 and that's how long it's been since <laughs> I was doing nice it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is our watch office. We do reports here. Uh, we usually meet here in the morning. Okay. Uh, off, off going crew will come out and we will, uh, you know, 
share stories what happened the day before, right. um, and then I'll get reports from each other, and then okay. go on up and to the bedroom, which well, I'll show you that part too. Oh, awesome. So how much, you guys run two boxes out of here? Two boxes, yes. Okay. For those who are uninitiated or like me, two boxes means two ambulances. So here's the day room. Oh, hey, sweet. Look at these lamps. Nice. Yeah, so those are really cool. Sir. Oh, those are uh, cool. You know, this department was formed after these three came together. That's how we got the colors for our station. Oh, oh really? Trucks, okay. Actually, yeah. That's nice. Uh, so these are the three original stations. Mm -hmm. We have the Santa Fe station. Oh, that's nice. You got a nice day room up here. Yeah, we got TV, couches. Yeah, my grandmother watch, like, loves watching Chicago fires. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's cool. That's a, yeah, I, so the story behind these, you know, they were all three different departments, and uh, they ended up becoming one department. That's how we got our colors on the trucks, which I'll show you cool. too. And then these colors here, basically. Yeah. These oh, that's really here. nice. Is that, yeah, that really, the Alta Loma, yeah. Real <laughs> nice. Right on. No, that's, that's cool. awesome. Yeah, we need to upgrade this a little bit. You know, not upgrade, but we'll touch it up. But, you know, we have our three uh, pantries. Okay. So oh, the shelf is great. Yeah, so they, you know, well, we have the a, uh, a, B, and C shift here, and we have four shifts actually. So okay. uh, A, B, C, and D, they are in here. They're the full timers. Okay. And okay. For us on Medic 2, we have our own work part timers. Okay. Uh, so we put our stuff here. Okay. Uh, so this is the second kitchen? Your second kitchen, kitchen yeah. Okay. So okay. I love to cook. Yeah. And so I'm always on show. I used to work here before. Yeah, these Viking stoves. Like, it's worth joining the fire department just to get to cook on a nice Viking. Oh, yeah. It's nice. <laughs> That's a sweet it. stove, man. I always cook nice. steaks on here, too. Oh, yeah. Cast iron. Yeah. Well, That's everything nice, is man. cast iron, so it holds the heat. And oh, you yeah. do what you need to do. Um, That's sweet. Out here, we have a nice little balcony area. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. And we're getting the full tour. I'm man. I told him I was like, I don't really want to go to a fire department. He's like, yeah, let's go, man. I haven't been over here in forever. Yeah, I was like, yeah, all yeah. right. Y'all chose a good day because I was, uh, <laughs> I, I've been off for a while. Oh, thank really you. Good. So, yeah, when I was doing this, Chief Cause was still running quite oh, a bit of the, uh, is he still around? Yeah, he's at, uh, he's at Calm doing uh, the Fire Academy stuff there. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so sometimes, especially when it's cool outside, we'll eat up here. Heck yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's what a beautiful view, too, to kind of see what's going on. This is nice. Especially on New Year's, if you were New Year's Day or Fourth of July, you can see a fire from the distance. Wow. You know, the county side's over there, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's awesome. That's nice. That was really nice. That was kind of funny, the door. Yeah, the door. <laughs> they had it, like, ribbon shut. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, gotcha. <laughs> They're going to be like, which, we're going to see which one of these guys the opens this door. Yeah, that's another training room. We get to set up every now and then, run like scenarios. Okay. Like, like CPR dummies or. Yeah. Uh, okay. Dummies and all that too, so. I, mean, I, I remember the comment was made when we were over there that this facility was going to have a lot more area for training. Oh, and, definitely. And whatnot. So we were saying it's for. Because we do have a long, like longer transport times. To go from you know wherever hospitals we're going to, okay. and we want to make sure that our skills are sharp. So be fair. Okay. Do you like go to like specific hospitals or? So we transport to all the Clear Lake hospitals. We transport to UTMB in Lake City. Okay. Uh, UTMB in Galveston, uh, and there's some freestanding emergency rooms like in Alvin for like the less lower critical. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but it's usually whatever hospital they want to go to if it's okay. in our district. Or if, and if they're conscious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're and, conscious. Uh, obviously, yeah, patient you know. advocacy, we have to decide for them sometimes. Yeah. 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 We can't just be like, hey, we're going to take it to Mainland. Because it's another hospital, we're to Mainland. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So oh, we yeah. have the uh, two bathrooms here, the, the female bathrooms and the male bathrooms here. Okay. Um, they're all unisex, but we can kind of. Yeah. Got a shower. Nice. Oh, sweet. Okay. Fully geared so that they can. Yeah. When you're, when you're actually stuck here for a minute. Oh, yeah. And when you're this working is, those doubles. A, man, this is a great <laughs> building. It's beautiful. And it's a lot of, they do, they did really good. And, and an exercise? Yeah, yeah. So we, have a, we have a gym in here. We're actually trying to upgrade, actually. Sorry, oh, no worries. We're trying to push uh, healthy, healthy lifestyles. So yeah. um, we're actually going to upgrade everything here. That's the plan. Oh, okay. sweet. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, help maintain some of those habits. That... 
and then our laundry room. Right oh, there. is that the utility room? I was looking at seeing the laundry baskets. I was like, hmm. Yeah, so we throw our towels in there, and then we, you know, clean it up. Yeah. So do y'all have to do y'all do y'all have like uniforms and stuff? We do. Okay. Do y'all have to pay for your own uniforms or? Uh, actually, no. So they the only thing that like the part time guys have to mm -hmm. pay for is the pants. Oh, okay. But the shirts and all that they get you know shirts and stuff from the department and the, the pullover job shirts. Oh, sweet. For okay. Work, and for like cold you know colder times. Yeah. That's nice. Cool. Okay. Cool. We have a bunch of hats. And the rest this of this is pretty much dorms. This, this is all dorms here. here. Okay. And um, what a bunker room or pretty yeah, much? See point mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like this one here. Okay. Uh, I might move the bed to the middle for some reason, but okay. I bet you the bed on the side. No, nice. And you got lockers for everybody that comes in on different shifts. Oh, so yeah, each room has lockers. six lockers. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, we have up here actually. Uh -huh. when, when the tones go off, this will light up red. Okay. And it'll light your whole room up red, so you know, like, hey, I got a call. Okay. Okay. Now the only difference is. In the uh, fresh air in the in the day room, there's another light bar on the side of it that has five different lights: uh, red, blue, green, uh, white, and yellow. So blue is for EMS. Mm -hmm. uh, green is for station one, um, or red for station one. I think yellow is for station two, and it's. I, I remember all the colors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but yeah. But You're like, hey man, I only got to remember so EMS. for mutual aid to let well, you know what other people are going, or all based out of. So you yeah. have so we have three three departments or three uh, stations. stations here. So okay. station one, uh, two is down by the bus barn, and then three is way over by like out okay. area. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Then, <laughs> oh, that's that's that's, that's a cool. great way to let everybody know instantly what station's going where. Going that's where. really nice. Yeah. So we know like hey, it's, the lights are not blue, so it's yeah. Not call. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then now we'll go down to the bay. Yeah, I want to set up these new colors. Yeah, I know. Especially down here. Yeah, it is. Come on, buddy. So we do have a pole. I was going to say, oh, yeah. they you, put a pole in for I did. Yeah. They, they like don't. <laughs> I thought this was like a big no-no at this point. But yeah, so. How many people actually use the pole? Never. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool because Oh, wow. I was about to say that probably just like opens up and like you just shoot right through it. That's cool. It's just obligatory. I don't think you can build a fire station without a without a pole. Yeah. I think it just like has to have a pole. You know? <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, guys. As you've seen, we probably only had about five more minutes left um, in this video. I mean, we would have been done and over with, and it would have been great interaction. It would have been perfect. But uh, as you're about to see, guys, Tony Dolphin comes in and ruins it. Ruins it, guys. Absolutely despicable. Uh, now, I will be throwing in some things that I know that we did do when we first walked in. And just stay tuned. It's going to get crazy here in a second, guys. It's going to be the new fire and rescue. Yeah, you can tell that you can definitely t see the difference in the two uh, yellows there. And look at that. <laughs> oh, I even got the golf cart. Yeah, that rush truck is uh, pretty cool. It actually goes out on the deployments to uh, West Texas and stuff to go to Wild Wild Oh, really? Nice. So you guys actually put it out for a week or two on loan if it needs to go if somewhere. If it needs to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. sweet. That's awesome. So we do you have the uh, side by side. We use this uh, to you know, just usually to haul the trash from here to the yeah. Back to the <laughs> but this will go out to the county fair. We do provide uh, medical oh. aid for the county fair. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we'll take this out there with some medical supplies. Do you have a lot of like? Is there a lot of stuff that generally injuries that occur at the county fair? At the rodeo side of it, usually yeah. there are. We just get a, maybe four or five injuries. Oh, okay. You know, but uh, during the county fair itself. Usually just like drunk bites. Yeah. So, so is this set up to take a, a backboard or anything, or is this more just kind of rapid response? To the it's just rapid response. Like, so what we would do is we can put the seat down, and uh, but I don't think it's long enough for a backboard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, but but still, okay. we just. Bring right, up, how can I help you? Uh -oh. Doing we're just doing a little tour. Yeah. Why are you recording everything? Oh, we're just journalists. We're just journalists for, what? for ourselves. We're just independent journalists. We like uh, government and stuff like that. We like seeing it out. interesting it's stuff. Yeah. 
You got any business cards or anything? Uh, I don't. I've left them at home this morning on accident. Honestly, guys, I had left my business cards at home. They're honestly sitting next to my bed right now. Okay. Then y'all tour is over until you can identify yourselves. Wait a second. Roll the tape back. Nice to meet you. I'm Austin. Rob. Nice to meet you, Rob. Nice to meet you. I'm Bruce. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that's right, guys. I said hi, my name's Austin, and Bruce identified himself too. So, what the fuck? Okay. okay. Cool. Thank you, sir. What? Well, what was your name? Sorry. My name's Tony Dolphin. Tony. I'm the captain of the station. Okay. Cool. Oh, Thank you. Beautiful station. Thank you. It was nice to just without nice knowing who you are or why you're in our station. Oh. Is this guy really this dumb? All right. So, who we are and why we're in there. So, two questions he wants answered, and they have already been answered. Just watch. Yeah, but why are you recording everything? Oh, we're just journalists. We're just journalists for what? For ourselves, we're just independent journalists. We like uh, government and stuff like that. We like seeing interesting stuff. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice to meet you. I'm Austin. Rob. Nice to meet you, Rob. I'm Bruce. Nice to meet you. I'm, okay. <laughs> <sighs> Even Big general public. Fan. Thank you. Even general public announces themselves in here. Nice to meet you. I'm Austin. Rob. Nice to meet you, Rob. I'm Bruce. Nice to meet you. So, we did. We, we didn't just walk into the well, bay. They don't here. know who you are. No way of identifying you. So. Nice to meet you. I'm Austin. Rob. Nice to meet you, Rob. I'm Bruce. Nice to meet you. Tour is over. All right. Okay. Yeah. color scheme is beautiful. Wow. What a dick. Wow. That was like such a beautiful encounter. We just that was like a great down. encounter. And then he goes and does that. Like, what the fuck? So as you're about to see, guys, Tony Dolphine is waiting inside for me right now. But as I go back inside, I'm, go I'm going in there now to do public records and to get a complaint form. Enjoy the video. This is where it starts popping off. Stay tuned. I also want to point this out that on the door, it says business hours, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It does not say anywhere that they are closed for lunch at any time. If I would have had this information or seen it while I was there at that time, I wouldn't have left. But you'll see why, guys. Well, see, the thing is, is like we were just getting a tour. We're almost done, dude. We've been out there, I, I, and I just now got here. I don't see what your problem is. Like, I, well, you don't identify yourself. Nice to meet you. I'm Austin. Rob. Nice to meet you, Rob. Nice to meet you. I'm Bruce. Nice to meet you. So if you got no form of we were never asked to identify. We were well, never. I'm asking now. You were unable to put, provide that. All right, guys. So. Tony Dolphin is T. Cole certified. This means he should know that I don't have to give my ID unless I've been lawfully arrested. So that's why your station tour is over. Okay. All right. So it's a little discriminatory, but eh, eh, no. it is. All right. Now I have a complaint form. Huh? You have a complaint form? Uh, you can find it online. Uh, do y'all have one here in person? No, sir. We do okay. not. You can find it online. All right. Well, I'd like to speak to HR then. Duh. Kim, do you want to speak to these individuals to file a complaint on me? We're saying the station tour is over, or you want them to file it online? I, I don't know. I don't have internet access, so. Well, you can come back and talk to the chief. Well, they, there's I'd no like one to available. talk to HR. To, I just asked her. Well, that, I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm talking to her. Now you can leave. You can This is my talk. property. You can leave. This is public property. You can leave. You can leave. You can leave. You can leave. No, sir. Now you can leave. This is public property. You can stop acting in the way you're acting, and you can calm down. You can leave. This is public property. I need to file a complaint. Yeah, we told you how to do that. Barney. I don't have internet access. 6767, can you send a patrolman by station one for me for a minute? This is public. You can leave. I can stay too. You can leave. I can stay too. Or I'll get you removed.
two to home one. I bet you that's them. That's clear. Huh? O2, yes. I've asked them to leave. They're refusing to leave the property. I haven't refused to leave. You're still here? I can stay yeah, too. Yeah, I got one up here on Highway 6 now. He's walking off. I got one in the front lobby that's not. I need a public records request. You can file that online as well. I need to do it in person. There's no in person. You can file it online. I, I can get a piece of paper. I can do it in person. That's our department policy. You can fill it out well, online. I can do it in person too, per state law. Well, you're not going to today because we don't have that available. I can get a piece of paper to do it too. You'd like to go talk to your partner outside, please? Why? I need to get a public records request. I just told you how to file it. Yeah, and I can and do it in person. our department policy is and to file it I online. I can do it in person too, per state law. I understand that, but you're not doing it now. They are going to lunch. You can come back after lunch hours. Okay, cool. I'll come back after lunch hours. It's not a big deal. I'll file a complaint on you, too. Hmm? I'll file a complaint on you, too. Thanks. All right, guys. So, I want to be very clear. I am not upset about the freaking uh, tour being cut short. I got damn near everything in the building. But what I do want to complain about is Tony Dolphin's attitude towards the public Plus, how he's arrogantly disrespectful and not knowing that it's a public building. It's publicly funded, as you're about to find out. Watch. Perfectly yeah. all right. So you're trying to act like a jack wagon. So you got a problem. No, I just don't like people that are unannounced walking around my fire station. It's not your fire station. It's the people's fire station. Until you Get are, right. until Get you are granted right. access... To our I'm apparatus granted, I'm floor. Granted access and until by being a tax paying citizen. You you're need to learn your place. Show you me your driver's your license. Place. You're a tax paying citizen and an give, RESD. I don't need to give then you Then it's my not a public license. place. It's not a public place because I won't show you my ID. How incredibly stupid are you? And this these are the people, guys. This guy's T Cole certified. These are the people that they allow to be cops. Are you insane this is oh oh my god let's listen to this stupidity some more it is a public place no it is not Hello. is this not a public fire station no it's not a public there's key access to the doors it's privately funded I mean, it's funded by the emergency services district yeah and that's tax funded okay so it's publicly accessible during business hours, sure right? There's secured areas to the well, fire yeah. department. Well, yeah, obviously there are. Right. I didn't go in any secured areas. Okay. He was on our apparatus floor. I asked him to identify himself. He refused to identify himself. Said and he I left. A business card. I asked him to leave. His partner did leave, and then he came inside the building. I asked him to leave again. I left he could the schedule. I left a, the apparatus building. He could schedule a station tour with either PIO or the chief. And he said he had the right to be there. He refused to leave at that point. No, I said I need a complaint, building. and I said I need and to file I told a public him how records. To file a complaint online. I told him how to file the, the open records request online. And per state per state law, I can do it in person. I don't know what their policies and procedures are. This comes directly from the state of Texas website on how to procure public records. Okay. Well, yeah, I know, but you know it's public records, right? Yeah. Public records request. I can do one in person, correct? guessing that their policy is that they have a form online that you fill Well, out. see, the thing is, state law says I can do it in person at the location where I'm doing it. That's between you and the fire department. Well, I know. So that's the that's the problem here. Yeah. Is he, he won't give me a piece right of paper. Now. No, I'm saying, he. I told him I'd come back after business, after they reopen for lunch, and I do a public records request here. So. Yeah, you do a public request. Yeah, see? It's legal. Learn your place, bud. Like, there's no reason there's to no, be this way. But you don't have to be crass towards I'm not all right, guys, so for the purposes of transparency, I didn't know what crass meant. Not that I just never heard the word. I just never knew what the actual definition was. So I went on Google and I looked it up. And the first thing that popped up was Oxford languages. And by definition from Oxford languages, it says lacking sensitivity, refinement or intelligence. So here's a replay of what I said so that y'all can see if I was crass or not. It's legal. Learn your place, bud. Like. There's no reason There's to no be this way. way. Not being crass. I was very professional, and I was very, I was not rude at all. I was very professional. He came in rude, acting disrespectful, and so I'm telling him to learn his place. This is a public-funded building. 
the public has access to this building. We can take video and record in the public areas in this building. And if you walk into there, like obviously if these doors were locked, we couldn't go in. That would make sense, right? That, and if I were to go past those doors, I'd have to break into the building, right? So I'd be committing trespass, probably breaking and entering, several different laws, right? Okay, so if this is open, it's public, it's tax funded. That being said, anything beyond those doors is open to the public. So I can go wherever it's not restricted. The whole building's restricted. No, it's not. You can tell me it's restricted. You can tell me it's restricted. Doesn't mean it is. If it's open to the public and there's no signs saying that it's not restricted, it's not restricted. So why don't we try to set up a conversation with the fire chief? Well, now I'm going to because of the way he's acting. I'm not arguing with anybody. I'm just telling him and getting trying to get you to explain to him that it's perfectly legal for somebody to stand inside a public building. He's a police officer, just like I am. Oh, he's a police officer. Oh wow. Okay. He's actually the fire Oh, okay, I didn't know if that was his unit or something he was just driving in. Oh, you're a police officer? Okay, cool. But his designation is fire marshal. Fire marshal, okay. So you're T-Cole certified? Oh, okay, cool. That's going to be fun to get. Can't wait to get your record. But, um... Who are you guys? We're just journalists gathering content for a story, exercising our First and Fourth Amendment rights. Because you guys were at the post office too, right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just asking. No, yeah, no. We were absolutely at the post we office. We were taking video. Being at the post office yeah. too. We, were, we waited around for 15 minutes waiting for somebody to show up, and we left because we figured they didn't call. They told us they didn't call. So that's why we didn't. We left because we don't run from the cops. You know, we're not we're not criminals. We don't run. The post office is right there. Yeah. We noticed that this was right here, so we just walked on over after about 15 minutes of waiting by the flagpole. Okay. So. I mean, yeah, y'all can record the sign and the statue cool. in the front of the Yeah, what was your name and badge number? My name? Mm -hmm. Robert Shores. Okay, what's your badge? Number 602. What's yours? yours? Prawn, like the like the shrimp? Like prawn, like the shrimp? Brawn. Bra oh, brawn. Like, 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 like bronze. Yeah. Okay, what's your badge number again? 601. 601, sorry. I'm a little hearing uh, impaired. But. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'll film the exterior of the building, no cool. problem at all whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, and if there's an issue, then... I would request that you guys would back out and That's set fine. up a meeting. Well, I told him I said I'd come back and I'd come back and do public records with HR, which is right inside that door there. So I'll come back after lunch and do that. So how long is lunch here? About an hour. About an hour. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. Who's the officer who arrived? Do you know him? Uh, yeah. Can I get his name? Paul Hensley. Paul Hensley. You know his badge number? Six fourteen. Six fourteen. Okay, cool. Well, thank you, sir. All right. All right, guys. So. We never went back after the lunch time because guys, we were not gonna wait around for an hour. We grabbed some lunch and we left, uh, but we will be making a revisit guys. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, you, you, you know what's gonna happen guys. If you'd like to donate, please feel free to do so below in the pinned comment section and also in the description. Thank you so much for watching though. I hope you'll have a great day. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. 